I am old man Sugarheart. <laughs> And I'm progressing the story in Chef RPG. Good morning. Word of La Sequoia's grand opening is spreading around. I think there are a lot more visitors than just a few weeks before. I... I... Please. Really hope this can continue. All I can do is make La, so La Sequoia the best it can be. That's what I love to hear. Passion. You've got it in spades. Can't wait to see what La Sequoia has in store next. Yeah. Hmm? Old Sugarheart, letter for you from one of Lucius Delacourt. I'll be off then. Dear old Sugarheart, I do not know you, but you should know me. I am Lucius Delacourt, food critic of Billboard City for the Billboard City Tribune. My words have been known to make or break establishments. I see my work as a service to the city to help inform the public of as to what is worth their time and money and what is not. Her La Sequoia has returned. I've read some reviews from more pedestrian critics. While the simplest menus easily wow them, I am not so easily impressed. I do not take the words of my colleagues seriously, so I will be coming to see what you have to offer me. I challenge you to try. Try to impress me, because it is clear that while everything else seems to, <laughs> everyone else seems taken by your skill, I have yet to be in awe of anything from what I've read about your establishment and its menu. See you soon. Lucius Delacourt. Well, sounds like we gotta hide a body. Lucius Delacourt isn't somebody you brush off. Old Sugarheart, you're gonna have to step up your game. Step up to where? I don't really know. I don't see any stairs, but it should go up. I've got, well, got any ideas on how to prepare? Well, nothing in particular. Critics are picky people. They expect good food, good service, and good decorations. No matter what, you should improve your restaurant for Lucius' arrival. Adding some new drinks might help. Have you met April? She just returned from a research trip. Maybe she can share some of her findings. April is a tea expert. No, no, no. Not bubble teas. More like traditional steep teas. She also has psychic abilities. You have to see it to believe it. I think she's over at the Lonely Cliffs last I saw her. Good luck. Hello, kitty. You gonna headbutt the mic? You're not allowed to do that unless you meow. Well, that's almost a meow. Try again. Here, let me pet you backwards. No? No noise for the people? Oh, looks like I found her. Or did I? My studies of the divine arts allow me to decipher the fate of our timeline. Hang on, let me put this mic back where it was, kitty. There are only a few people on this planet that have this ability, and I am one of them. My ability is also greatly enhanced by various tea combinations, which is why you are here. Hazel told me you could give me some tips on making tea. Ah, Hazel, such a lovely android. She's correct. I can share some of my entry-level techniques with you. But first, I'll need some help before I can share my secrets of tea making. It's just tea, right? Can't be that hard to make. It can't be that hard to... Different ingredients will yield amazing beneficial results under the correct conditions I'll chalk your up your comment to ignorance and I will not take it as an insult what I need from you is 30 sugarcane 30 elderberries and 30 chili peppers if you bring them to me I can show you the secrets of tea making I know it's a bit of a bother but you, I think you can handle it see you soon
taking my apple for a walk. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Some nice person told me to visit the hunter. The sequoia is open now? Good luck, don't screw it up. Remember to use fresh natural ingredients only. I don't know what they put in that package stuff they sell in the stores. Running into people only reminds me of how much I miss the quiet of the forest. Uh, I'm told you can help me murder people? I think it's something a few understand and even fewer have attempted. Meat isn't simply a product of nature, but rather a living being that once breathed and roamed the earth. Although taking its life may seem brutal, it provides sustenance and allows us to survive. The cycle of life, it's poetry. Please teach me how to murder better. She refuses. Alright, what well if I walk into your little hobbit house? I'm not good enough friends with Pomeran to enter. What about here? Not good enough friends with Bowie to enter. Oh, are they married? A sweet old couple. Someone told me to be friends with her because she'll tell me how to murder better. And if I murder better, then I can get meat faster. Because currently gathering ingredients is like an all day thing. relearn how to do all of this stuff. My god. I do remember the sugar being a particular particular pain. be sugar like right next to my house am I crazy like right up here I say house I mean my restaurant I don't think sugar is in a lot of different places you know that was like right down there nah Should hunt some meat. But knowing it can be easier actually kind of bothers me. What if I just buy meat? What if I never hunt again? how I am in real life, right? Like, hunting sounds fun and all, but, like, I don't feel like it's a skill I necessarily need. I can just buy dead things. They sell them in the store. It's so much easier. money is to pillage the beach 
sell that stuff to Bowie. I think for the first day, we're just gonna gather ingredients. Speaking of which, one thirty of those, thirty sugar, thirty elderberries. So we've got the elderberries. We should check the fridge. Hey, if I shoot over here, impressed. Impressed enough to give me a gun. Like some kind of like gun arm attachment would be fine. I really haven't picked up on much of the advantages of being a cyborg. Android. I mean, android. There's a huge difference. One of the listed advantages was that I get a lot of the end game augmentations that humans can't get. I'd like to see some augmentations at all. Like, I'd settle for a spatula hand. Like, I don't need anything, you know, super impressive. You guys... You, don't, you never sell anything, do you? You, on the other hand... Give me the flower. What was the... Can't extend credit. I don't have money? Oh, yeah, that's right. I furnished my entire restaurant yesterday. By yesterday, I mean a week ago and then some. You can of take a little time off from playing this game. That's right. I did all this with the restaurant and we didn't open it up. Okay, uh, <laughs> we've got lots more chili. Got lots more sugar. So we take that to what's her face? A brill. And I don't know, just see what she needs. Uh got lots of elderberries. Apples. Cranberries. Is there anything else that I actually use? Eggs. Asparagus. Yeah, that's it for now. Alright, let's go talk to April. Looks like I do have lots of ingredients, though. Oh, well, that's good. We can open this shop up uh, all day tomorrow. Um, She is still just out there, is she? the tea house a hey. I forgot to mention congrats on opening La Sequoia the town feels different compared to before I left I got your stuff ah, here we are that took some time let's head over to my house and I can show you how to make tea uh hi I'm in your house I see you sell flowers, but do you buy 
plans. She does for some reason. Good day to you. Such a wonderful day, isn't it? Uh, alright. Let's make that tea. I don't think I should keep using April's mixer, but... Is this where we make tea? April! Alright, let's go to April's house. Do do do. Please ignore the mess. I've been gone for a while and haven't had a chance to clean up. I'm not a fan of modern technology, but this tea dispenser just makes things so much easier. So I made an exception this one time. So all you have to do is put the ingredients into this machine and it will do the rest. Must make sure to add enough of your primary ingredient, which is tea leaves. Then you can add some secondary ingredients into the mix. Just be aware that adding more ingredients will dilute the tea leaves, which will make it weaker. Take these ingredients and give it a go. Alright. There we go, mixed berry tea, right? You know what? I got a lot more elderberries. Let's just cram it all in there. Uh, no. Press the play button. Yeah, that's not half bad. Your tea has a decent flavor. Drinking tea will always boost your stamina. Depending on which ingredients you add to the tea, you can receive additional health benefits. You know what? Why don't you take my old tea dispenser? I don't use this one anymore. Gather your own ingredients and see what kind of brews you can come up with. Since you're running a restaurant, you may notice your staff running out of energy. Brewing some tea for them could help raise their energy levels. Nobody wants to work these days. Uh, there's a greenhouse next to your house. Is that yours? Yes, it is. And you can use it as long as you know how to farm crops. If you don't know how yet, then you can't. I don't look shocked. I'm psychic. I knew you were going to ask that question before you thought to ask it. Now then, be off. I have some experiments to run. Alright, we got a thing. So I can use this. I cannot use this right now. Well. Alright. We need meat. For the restaurant. I have to talk to somebody at some point to learn how to farm. There's a farm nearby. What was the name of the owner of that farm?
forget what I use asper asparagus for. I suppose it couldn't hurt to have a million of them. about in this game is it already feels like I have to spend all day gathering ingredients just to have enough to run the restaurant but if I get the restaurant to be bigger and serve like a lot more things is it gonna take me like a week to gather the ingredients I've got that glow ring now. It's a big boss pig. Give me all the pork in the universe. Yeah, what now? I'm slightly to the left of the stairs. You seem very confused. Oh, I moved. Cause you moved. killing you but first I need stamina I'll just eat a bunch of raw peppers where'd you go there you are all right now if I remember these are an ingredient in pizza Delicious birdies. If I remember right, watercress were a thing that I use a lot of. Huh. Sugar. This place is off the charts, he says. to deposit these ingredients and then go straight to bed? Um... Oh, I do use wild carrots. I didn't know I used those. What about mushrooms? Nope. Let's see if I can go to sleep before I die. The nighttime punishment's a little harsh in this game. Because when it becomes time to sleep, you just slowly, like, very slowly die.
Like, you'll take 15 stamina damage, like, every... Every few minutes. Settling in. Hazel informed me that you are getting settled in White Ash Harbor. It's a lovely little town, isn't it? What was the name of that kind young lady who sells drinks in the town center? In my old age, I've forgotten her name. She makes some top-notch drinks. I even tried to bring her on as a student, but she had her own life goals. Very proud of you for taking this leap of faith and trying to revive La Sequoia. I know you'll make great strides with your cooking. Do I... Okay. So if I click this arrow, good. All right, places, everybody. Oh, that's right. Skill systems update. Experience is now split between four. Something, has something changed? Oh, I have to respend all my skills. Okay. Farming. I can learn that. <gasps> All right. And uh, brewing was a thing I used to know. Supply chain. Having friends allow scheduled ingredient deliveries to your restaurant. Actually, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Probably nowhere near friends with them, am I? To begin farming, you can purchase seeds from April. At her home, a watering can is required for farming and a spade. We used to clear plants. Head into the greenhouse when I'm ready. Alright. 